Who are you and where are you from? I'm Maya, I'm Australian and I live in the UK. At the moment I'm visiting New Zealand where I spent my teen years. I have a cold and I've got no idea if I'm going to get through this filming without coughing. Badly, <laughs> to the point of not being able to record. But yes, I'm in New Zealand where I grew up. My proximity and distance, my relationship to personal landmarks has changed. Connecting with family and long missed places. Themes that are on my mind are space, physical memory, and mapping journeys. Migrations are interlaced through my familial history. Does this shape my practice and my desire to create dynamic maps of creative life? This is a question that I'm taking with me. Tell us a bit about your practice. What do you do? My practice is one of embodied movement. Material meditation, drawing and writing. Through improvisation and collaborative dialogue, I arrive in relationship with other beings in a way that is performative, meditative or propositional. Sometimes the dialogue is ongoing and that unfolding is often more art to me than the artifacts left behind. How do I do that? Well, as part of my dialogic practice, I create structures for conversation um, to support the documentation of sh and sharing of knowledge through participation. I create invitations. I contribute to experimental and collaborative networks. I love interviewing people about their work. I write stream of consciousness poetry and employ automatic writing. I practice improvisation to allow openings for collaboration. These are statements from my dialogic manifesto. Um, more information about dialogue as practice and how I do it can be found on my Instagram and website. When did I start? Hmm. I started working with other professional artists in 2015 in collaborative and supportive roles. My practice grew alongside this work experience. I learned about exhibiting, curating and facilitating art experiences, both as a creative practitioner and as a participant. These opportunities came to me because I decided I was going to embrace art as a way of life, not as an add-on parallel to real world concerns, but as a way of living. I was spurred on by the book Relational Aesthetics, as well as Karen Barad's Material Entanglements, and all the artists who improvised with me and embraced the live art aspect of artwork coming into being. That really fed all our art practices and I hope will continue to do so. Who or what inspires your practice? I'm actually quite motivated to understand the creative process itself. Can I map what is universal and develop what is specific to me in my time and place? Within that exploration is a growing understanding of the importance of space and spaciousness for the human body and the creative mind. I find I'm exploring consciousness itself and how it relates to creative visions, actions and materializations. I desire to connect to my body, my thoughts, my imagination and my world and not get lost in the external demands of what to do and think and emulate. I seek a freedom of response in order to not, in order to be sure when my actions are chosen, not conditioned, creative, not conformist. Time in nature, words, ideas and space all play and play gives me the oxygen my practice breathes. What am I exhibiting at Metamorphosis? In 2018, I started collecting video on my mobile phone during walks in nature and layering them together to express a multi-dimensional experience of life, both internal and external, physical and ephemeral. 
The third video I made in 2019 will be exhibited during Metamorphosis 2023 as part of Lacuna Festival. It's called Transmutation 1444. It links to the theme of metamorphosis um, because metamorphosis means a change of the form or nature of a thing in or person into a completely different one. In zoology, it refers to the change of in insects from one distinct juvenile form to a completely different adult form, such as caterpillar to butterfly. So the word has roots in the natural world. My artwork is a series of layered moving images that last 14 minutes and 44 seconds. The meditative and elemental experience takes you through a sequence of air and water, fire and water, fire and earth, earth and air. And in the dialogue between these things, meanings are made and a portal to transmutation is opened. Transmutation is an elemental term, such as the idea of turning lead to gold, but it also has spiritual connotations. I believe the word makes more sense when the material and spiritual dimensions are understood as entangled, not distinctly separate things. People can find out more about me and my work by following me on Instagram or going to my website, maya.co.uk. That's M-A-I-J-A dot co dot U-K. I'm also writing on Substack. You can find my publication at substack.dreamtender.co.uk. Why did I apply for Metamorphosis 2023? My main reason for applying for this festival this year was because I had some work that fit the theme of Metamorphosis, but I'm also proud to be part of this Lacuna Festival because of its grassroots ethos. I also recognize what an important thing it is for an artist to build real world connections with artists all over the world. This is a fun way of coming together for mutual promotion and sharing of art. Thank you for the small team that makes it all possible. And if you're watching this and want to help out, I think the team of volunteers is in need of growing some members to sustain the festival that grows. Check out the Lacuna Festival's Instagram if you're interested in volunteering next year. Or if you'd rather support with a donation, check out the GoFundMe on their website. That's also where you'll find the digital exhibition, <coughs> the virtual rooms where, um, and galleries, and information about the events that are running throughout July. Thanks for listening.